At this time, to induct Wilma Wise, I'd like to welcome Ian Moore's EDA coach -aid. Tammy, you sure you don't? You're gonna... I'm sure you'll do great. <laughs> uh, this is really nice. As I, as I read through this, uh, this uh, biography here, I think there's, uh, in my opinion, there's no greater service than serving those who cannot help themselves. And that's a really special thing to do. And I'm honored to be up here and induct Wilma McIntosh Wise into the Hall of Honor. Willa McIntosh Wise is a lifelong resident of Nestle County. She was the eight of nine children born to Floyd and Mary Prophet McIntosh, who were married in 1924. She spent a happy childhood in the Tipton Ridge Furnace Junction area, where her father was the owner of a grocery store. It helped to feed all those kids, Willa likes to joke. She went to elementary school at Gum Springs School and quickly became a favorite of her teacher. What do you? Uh, this is Clay Burnett, pal Gamble. Wilma was an excellent student who made straight A's, but was frequently told she talked too much. In eighth grade, she came to town and started middle school at Estill County School. Before she graduated, Wilma left school to marry her childhood sweetheart, Wayne Wise, in 1965. She and Wayne had two children, a daughter, Tammy Cole, and a son, Terry Wise. Wilma is a proud grandmother to three grandchildren and two great-grandchildren. Wilma decided to finish her schooling and work toward getting her GED, which she accomplished in 1972. In 1973, she started her tenure at CompCare. Wilma was mentored and trained by Pat Alexander and Esther Mead, who took her under their wings and helped establish her in her position at CompCare. Wilma's time with CompCare is why she was nominated for the Hall of Honor. She spent 27 years assisting Estill County citizens with intellectual and developmental disabilities. At one time, she was in charge of over 30 different bank accounts, making sure that each client knew how much money was available to each of them. Wilma, Pat Alexander, and Esther Mead were responsible for starting the first daily treatment program for Estill Countyans with intellectual and developmental disabilities. In her words, we were told how res our responsibility was to keep our clients out of the hospital, and that's what we did. She made sure that each client had decent living conditions, access to the proper mental and physical health care. She drove clients to doctor's appointments and supervised a team of occupational therapy students from Eastern Kentucky University. Wilma's philosophy for her career of service to others was simple but true. Be truthful, open and honest with people, and you can do a world of good for them as well as being a champion for the often overlooked mentally challenged members of our society, <coughs> Wilma served on several boards. She served on both the Head Start Advisory Board and the MEPCO Home Health Board for over 20 years. She also served on the Kentucky River Foothills Board in its early days as well. Wilma, along with Ralph McClanahan, Dr. Ross Brown, Mike Rogers, and Tom Whitaker, worked extremely hard to start an ambulance service in our county and were the founding members of the Ambulance Board that developed into our first class EMS team that Estill County is privileged to have today. She served on the Ambulance Board for over 10 years and she also served on the Interagency Board for over five. After her time from CompCare in 2000, Wilma went to work with her husband Wayne at their furniture store, Wise Place, on Cal Creek until 2010. She now enjoys gardening, cooking, and reading. She also loves to sew, and again, she's known for making beautiful pillows for others after a death in the family. So again, you're giving and giving. Wilma is a member of the Urban Free Methodist Church and loves to work puzzles at the food court three days a week with a group, group of friends nicknamed the Dixie Bell Gang. All right, that's just taking all the tables up in there, okay. Most of all, Wilma wants to stress to others who might have quit school before graduation to seek out opportunities to get their GED. You can't give up on your education, in her words. You can make the world better if you don't give up. And with that, I'm very honored to induct you into the Hall of Honor. And if you come up. this 
father. And I expect to enjoy it forever. <laughs> And to all the people who helped to give me this honor and this recognition, I love all of you, and I can think of many, many people here in this room that I would nominate, but I'm kind of glad you did it to me. <laughs> <laughs>